looking down this street here is where the school bus would have headed towards me and there were if you remember from the movie there were eight troubled kids on the school bus and they were heading on a path towards the unfortunate Halloween school bus massacre now if you notice this tree right here you can tell by the branches this is actually in the movie here and in the background it's covered by the trees but you would have seen a house along here that would look very similar and of course there would have been more leaves on the trees but this is where the school bus would have been headed right towards me Driving down this route is where the bus driver would have been driving the school bus towards the school bus massacre down this very route of obtaining. Alright, so this house here would have been Mr. Wilkins' house, which would have been the principal of the school. He would have been sitting up on these steps here, sharing candy with a neighborhood boy. Now in the movie, they actually would have had a fence along here. And you can actually see this house here in the background as well. Now next up, interestingly enough, right beside that house, is another good house. This would have been Old Man Craig's house. Looks a little different, of course, but this would have been old, where Old Man Craig was in the movie. Looks like it has been remodeled a little bit. This is another shot of Old Man Craig's house. Well, it definitely looks a little different with the railings and the windows look somewhat the same, but uh, this is put in the house. Here. So there we have the first two houses I showed you. And interestingly enough, across the street, unfortunately it has been remodeled, but this would have been the house where um, Emma would have lived. The very first house you saw in the movie. So this would have been Rhonda's house, the very strange girl that they were too afraid to go knock on. And unfortunately it has been remodeled, there would have been a fence here and you would have seen some jack-o'-lanterns. How do I know it's the house? Well you can tell by the side, the house is beside it. They're still standing, and I'm gonna go on the other side of the street and I'll show you where the boys were standing. Boys and girls, I should say. All right, so on the other side of the street, you would have seen this house in the background. The boys were standing. You would have seen them in the, this house in the background here. You can tell by the arch doorway, this would have been the house here. Really interestingly enough, like all these houses here that they used, you can notice are all within the same proximity of each other. Very easy for the filmmakers to get these shots done.